say that I can grab it. And, uh, you know, I have to agree. Because uh, I think that uh, anything that's there, we, we build. All right, all right, amen. You know, we don't come to the house of God to sit down on our hands. We come to the house of God to clap our hands. Yes, yes. We don't come to just put our feet on the floor. We come to stomp our feet. We all come right. To shout with our voices. Uh, we come to give them a praise. So, yes. yes, you may say that I am a radical preacher. Amen. Amen. Well, with that said, let's go to another video clip. Then we have a Pastor Curtis Durham in
You see, one thing about it, I, I've learned that that people don't have anywhere to put you. All right. Uh, they, they'll they'll put you somewhere you don't want to be. So I, I, I learned to put my trust in God, and, and when I do that, I just let everything hang out. It's and like the it's Lord. Hard, it's hard for me to be in the pulpit or, or be talking about the Lord and, and be in a calm state. Uh, it's just it's something that goes up on the inside. <laughs> and like the clip was uh, showed us tonight, and we were talking about the Shabbat. And, yeah. and the Shabbat was something that come down from on the inside. It was something that you was trying to free yourself from uh, okay. a problem or situation that you might have in your life. Yeah. It's not hard to holler when you got something going on. All right. So, so All right. it's definitely not hard to give God a Shabbat. Right. You say, Lord, hey, hear me through yeah. my cry. Yeah. You know, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not talking with words. I'm doing it with a shout. Yeah. And God understands a shout. Yeah. He yeah. Don't understand if they want it. He understands even when we don't say one word, All right. God does. But yeah. the Shabbat is something to free us <laughs> and to, to disturb yeah. the enemy, to show him that that, that we All have right. something that we can call out to that he don't even understand what we're doing. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Confusing. Yeah. Yes. Amen. He was confused. Amen. Mm-hmm. First Lady Durham. Do you feel that the church is compromising the gospel or just becoming aligned to the freedom of grace? Uh, I would have to say that uh, yes, it does. Uh, at times I do feel that, uh, you know, the word of the truth is what we should be after. You know, yes. whether and it should not be compromised. Uh, you know, God's word is written in stone. You know, and uh-huh. there should be no changing of his word. He right. said that to him, and, yeah. and he's written his laws, and we shouldn't compromise it, uh, just to keep a member, or in fact, just for various reasons, even if the situation is uncomfortable. You know, the God word must go forth. Amen. So Amen. what you're saying is you shouldn't even be worried about keeping a member even for the financial oh, gain. Yeah, uh, even for financial gain. I mean, his word is written. I don't care where you go. It should be preached. It should be known. Because uh, God is here. He's still, uh, God is, he's soon to come. Yeah. And, you know, and we've got to start living his word out. And, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, we do have those places that where we try to either compromise the word even for ourselves. Uh-huh. You know, but, you know, and we should not do that. Yeah. You know, uh, God, uh, we will be judged. God yes, is coming back to judge yes, us. Yes, we will. And he's going to one day look uh, at us and he's going to say, you know, did you do everything that I told you to do? You know, I told you to do this, and but yet and still we done another. Uh, I would hate for anybody to uh, be caught up, you know, we're not doing what God told us to do. Wow. Amen. 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 Uh, well, Pastor Curtis, do you think that grace is a blanket to do whatever you like? Well, if we look at our world today, we would think that. <laughs> uh, well, more, many people use grace as an escape goal. Mm-hmm. And it's not an escape goal. Mm-hmm. It's, it, grace is a way of living for us. Because whenever we get into something or, or have problems in our life, God is able to deliver us in it through His grace, but He doesn't have to. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't continue on doing things that are wrong just because we know God has grace. Uh, he said that he will have mercy on whom he will. And uh, if we continue on doing those wrong things, grace soon will run out. Uh, right. Like the first lady just said, he's, he is on his way back. Yeah. And you can keep on holding on to that idea that grace is going to bring you out of everything you're doing uh, <laughs> on your own, Ooh, yeah. on a daily basis. Well, you keep holding on to that, and mm-hmm. after a while, you'll find yourself in a dying hell. Wow. My goodness. And who wants to be in hell? Oh, so what you're basically saying is you, you can't afford to take a chance. Can't afford to. You just got to be for real. Yes. Amen. 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 